Hi, here we go again with another fun-filled episode of Astro's Electronics Lab. Greetings, the Astro 30 here with a quick one, I'm hoping. <laughs> anyway, I want to find out whether this speaker is actually damaged. I know the woofer driver sounds alright. I'm more interested in this piezo compression driver, or tweeter, whether or not that's been damaged through the testing of that... Um, mini power amp that I was, well not mini power amp, that uh, simple power amp when it had a DC fault on it and was putting out so much mains hum it may have ruptured the diaphragm. So what I want to do is I don't have another amplifier except that Electro India one which I don't really want to mess around setting up. So what I might do is I might use my little uh, Champ amp that I built a few months ago and uh, it's only going to produce around about 700 milliwatt, but there should be more than enough to, you know, ascertain what's going on. So I'll set that up with, on the desk here with a power supply and an audio source, and we'll see what happens. And why am I going to use this one instead of the mini power amp that I built? Well, because I've stolen the transistors off of it. As we can see here, I've nicked most of the transistors off that board. That was to get that... Uh, simple home audio power amplifier working. This one didn't quite work as well as it should have anyway, but yeah, whatever, that capacitor's bent. Ooh. Okay, everything's hooked up apart from the positive power connection, so I'll do that now. Well, I could hear pops. Let me find out where the input lead has buggered off to. Up there. Yeah, I can hear right away that that tweeter does not sound right. Alright, so I'll play a bit of music. There we go. That actually sounds nasty. Other than this guy. Okay, so what do I think? Well, I think that either that tweeter is bad or it's just crap. Just give me two seconds. I'm going to do something that people probably will not agree with. But I'm the one doing it, not you. Because I don't remember with that Electro India amp whether or not I tested it with a music source, I just tested it with my bass. I can't remember offhand, I'd have to go over and look at the video. Pull this compression driver out. So what I'm going to do is I might just short out that resistor so that we don't have so much of a drop. These tweeters will run without a capacitor. So the resistor is now shorted. I want to get that back in its hole. Plus I can without shorting anything out. I just want to sit it in there. Maybe with one screw. Okay, like that. Okay, let's play that track again. Don't leave me 
Doesn't sound all that great, does it? So, I reckon that this tweeter isn't any good anymore. How else can I verify that? Well, I can take that directly to the uh, positive connection. So we've effectively shorted out this whole network. So that's connected directly across the base driver, which I now somehow have to get back in the cabinet. Yeah, everything's still connected. Just leave that just sitting there. Put the screw somewhere else this time so I'm not overstressing holes. Um, I assume that that's still working. I think so. It sounds terrible. Baby, you got me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of butterfly. Baby, you got me feel that I. You whip up my appetite. Don't leave me here high and dry. So what does this mean? Well, it means that this uh, compression driver probably needs to be replaced because it does not sound the best. It just sounds shrill. It's really giving me listening fatigue, if people understand what I'm talking about. <coughs> Pardon. So, yeah, that means I'm going to have to replace it with a new one. They're only about 10 bucks from JCAR anyway. I want to use two anyway. So, I know that the two amplifiers can't produce the same results coming out of this tweeter. That one on the breadboard plus this one built up on a circuit board. So that leads me to believe that there is something wrong with this tweeter. It may have already always sounded like that. I honestly don't remember, but it just doesn't sound all that great. I mean, this, this speaker could probably benefit from a crossover anyway. Anyway, I just thought I'd uh, test something out, make sure that I wasn't imagining things. I'm not imagining things. Now, this is the Astro 30. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to rate, comment and subscribe below. And you can follow me on Facebook and become a patron for as little as a dollar a month. Anyway, this is the Astro 30 saying, see ya, have a great day, and I'll be revisiting this later. Ciao.